Uh, next, uh, what I'd like to do is demonstrate a musical instrument that I discovered in my workshop at home. That's the saw blade. I found after cutting a piece of wood that my saw blade would sometimes sing to me. Now let me show you how a saw blade can sing. I've got a violin bow here. I'm going to stroke uh, this uh, saw blade. Actually, it's a viola bow, which is a little bit bigger. But I'm going to stroke this saw blade with this bow. And uh, we hear the saw blade uh, make some music. Now, to see what kinds of nodes and anti nodes we have on this, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of uh, cornmeal on here. And uh, I've painted that saw blade uh, black so that uh, the illumination is a little bit better. We don't get a lot of reflection off the blade itself, and we can see this, this cornmeal. We're going to see those little uh, specks of cornmeal dance around and form a pattern. And we're going to see that uh, just like we have with a violin string and with other musical instruments, we have nodes and anti-nodes. This is a little bit more complicated in that it's a two-dimensional surface. So we have waves going around tangentially, uh, both directions, so that we have nodes and anti-nodes. And we also have radio waves going in and out. And we'll see the beautiful pattern that uh, develops, hopefully, when I stroke this with a particular uh, frequency. So we see those little particles dance around and they go from the anti-nodes to the nodes. They vibrate away from the anti-nodes and pile up at the nodes. Now I can clean that off and then uh, we'll uh, see if we can pick up another frequency. So I'll uh, prepare this again with some fresh cornmeal. And just for a little bit of uh, spice we'll uh, We'll add some pepper flakes here. They don't show up very well on that black, but uh, we'll see what happens there. And maybe even throw in a few little uh, flakes of uh, Rice Krispies here. Uh, we'll see if they uh, dance around a little bit. Now let's see what kind of a pattern I can get here. I'm assuming that these uh, particles on here are so light that they don't in any way interfere with the vibration. They just uh, show us where the uh, nodes and anti-nodes are. Let's see if I can pick up a higher frequency. Nodes and anti-nodes. So now I'll prepare the surface again for uh, still another experiment. This time this time what I'm going to do is take this clamp and force a node at the position where I, uh, where I put this clamp. So let's force a node, uh, let's put it right uh, about uh, there. See if we can force a node at that point and see what kind of a pattern we get. Still a different pattern. Again, the particles pile up on, along the nodal lines and they leave the anti-nodes. And uh, I'll stroke that one more time and you can watch those particles dance higher at the anti-nodes and less motion at the nodes. Nodes and anti-nodes in a saw blade.